Hey everyone, welcome to Metal Guns and Outdoor. Today we're going to be testing on a little bit of 22 Magnum action. For the rifle, we've got this, uh, what is this, Savage Model 93. Thanks to Hootie Hoo for the loan. Yeah, this is cool old rifle. Of course, chambered in 22 mag. Magazine fed, bolt action. Got a uh, Barska scope on this thing. Man, that thing looks good for a small scope. Pretty cool. And the ammo we're going to be shooting is some Norma. Jacketed hollow point. These are 40 grains. Traveling at 1885 feet per second. Yeah, hollow point makes the difference when we're shooting stuff, that's for sure. Because what we're shooting today is off friend Play Doh. Want to know how many of these it will take to stop the 22 mag out of that rifle? As you can see, I mean, the Play Doh's got a good consistency to it, and uh, we are using a hollow point, so that should have a lot to do with how many of these it takes to stop it. Uh, we did do a previous video with some of this Play-Doh for the 22 long rifle and a pistol. If you'd like to check that one out, uh, go back through the playlist. Hey, it was pretty cool. Well, let's get this set up and let's just see how many it will take to stop at 22 mag. Throw your guesses down in the comments, please. Alright, as you see, I have lined up here pretty straight. We're going to be doing pretty much point blank shot, so I shouldn't miss anything. We have exactly 11 of them left, so I'm going to say, I'm going to call it six, because it is a hollow point and it's going to really spread out. But, let's make the shot and then we'll know. Alright, load up one of our Normas. That Norma is some good ammo, that's a fact. Alright, we are hot, guys. Let's see what she'll do. Got to get good and straight with it. Uh, yeah. Didn't think it was going to splatter like that. Well, let's just see what happened. I don't think it went through as many as we thought. Well, I mean, we did make a mess. There's red and blue Play-Doh all over the place. Huh, see what happened here. Apparently, the red and the blue ones were the first one because, I mean, everything just disintegrated. And... Well, it hit the yellow one. That's only three. Wow, my guess was way off. It looked like the bullet veered out the side of that yellow one. I don't think I was really good and straight on that shot. Well, dang it. I know you think it point blank like that. No, it didn't hurt the purple one, didn't hurt none of the rest. If it had iron sights on it, it'd be easier to see all the way down it, but yeah, with that scope, a little difficult. All right, let's say we'll take a second shot at that one. All right, figure out how I can get this really, really straight on that. We can tell right off the bat that I was too high. It's alright, we didn't tear it up so much that we can't get up that third shot on there. And hopefully, this third shot will get it. This is ridiculous.
If that don't do it, nothing will, right? It's good and straight. I like it. All right, now we really got a big, nice, colorful mess. Yeah, we got Play-Doh all over everything. Hey, that's part of shooting. That's the fun of it. Huh, let's see how many. Bad part, I wasn't paying attention to how many we had left. Let me see, we started out with 11, we splattered 2, so that should have left us 9. So we still got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the table, so 3 of them apparently just went to crap, unless I'm counting up wrong. Yeah, we got a good center shot on that one right there. Okay, so that's... Uh, however many was in front of it, I have to go back through the footage and look. But y'all see it all after I edit it, so y'all will know. Yep, good shot into there. Look at that. Nothing. Not a thing. And I know the bullet didn't veer out this time. Now I brought all that plastic and the other colors in with it. And I think we actually caught that chunk of bullet in there. Sure did. Hope y'all can see that good. The light ain't great out here today. Too cool. Too cool. Get some of this off-brand Play-Doh off of there. Man, that mushroomed up at a little 22 big time, didn't it? That is just awesome. Awesome. Well, guys, there you have it. That's what happens when you shoot a 22 Magnum at Play-Doh. It didn't go through as many as I thought, though. Well, guys, even though I had to do it three times, which I didn't mind. It was sort of fun just watching everything splatter, and I'm sure y'all didn't mind watching the shots neither, especially the slow-mos. Well, we got our results there. Like I say, catching that, that was just neat. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better mushroom out than that. Good deal. I'll put that one over here with that 10 mil that we caught last week. That's a keeper. Guys, if you would, throw me down some comments. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. If you're able, hit us up on Patreon. It's greatly appreciated. And if you would, like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Again, thanks to everyone for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. And until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.